White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a treat for y'all. We're at RP's Custom Trailers and Service today, and we're gonna be talking with Ryan about campers and camping and what you need to do to your campers what you don't want to do to your campers how to prevent stuff happening to your campers and we got a barbecue guru back in the back we got ribs we got brisket you got some jacked up beans some sneaky potatoes so we got all kind of neat stuff today we're going to be talking camping and cajun living and cooking is fixing to start right about now all right y'all we made it into the shop in here and i got ryan pierce with me how's it going going good rodney nice place you got here really nice um some of the things we're talking about today is maintenance and what created this whole i see the whole slides missing out the side of this trailer what's going on here well what we had rodney is uh customer came in rotted floor don't really know where it came from he was thinking that his slide out was leaking and i didn't really know but yeah the way a lot of these trailers are made if you don't take the slide completely out you can't properly fix these trailers a lot of guys they'll just kind of patch here and there yeah but we don't do that here you know so we try to fix it right my motto is if i can't fix it right i don't, I don't want to mess with it right. you know right so um basically <clears throat> we took the slide completely out and the rot was all in this area right here so found out it was not leaking around the slide out it was leaking from a light on the ah. side so basically a six dollar tube of uv protectant silicone would have kept this from happening ronnie this is what we run into all the time is i get guys in here and they're like well man i spent forty thousand dollars on this camper and i didn't realize i was going to have to keep an eye on the roof every six months or or look at the sides and look for cracks in the silicone and stuff like that you know they don't know that right, because a salesman right. not going to tell them that you no, know they so they just want to sell it exactly so i preach that all the time guys take care of these things look at it if you don't know what you're looking at bring it to me bring it to somebody else that knows what they're looking at because all they would have had to done was seen that this light needed to be resealed and it wouldn't have created all this damage so now we got four thousand dollars worth of damage wow that a six dollar tube of silicone could have fixed all he needed to do was caulk around the That's light right. and, and 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 you recommend caulking around all your oh yes spots. we will reseal the whole trailer for them if they're wanting that we can do some touch-up sealing um if the whole trailer doesn't need to be resealed but the thing is is keep an eye on it you know once a year when you're washing these deals look at all of your caulking or silicone it just depends on what they actually put on your unit at the time look at it find out what it is do the maintenance you know and, and because you don't want to use just any silicone no 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 this is actually a uv rv protectant silicone it's made by boss we sell it here in our rv supply store and um you know it's like i said six dollars a tube and it's made for this yes it's made for this because if you put a household silicone on it does it doesn't have a uv protectant in it and it'll peel off within a year wow. you know now now this uh this is uh i thought we'd talk about this a little bit a lot of uh campers have different styles of gaskets on the slide out there's different things that you can spray on the gaskets to keep them lubricated um but uh the main thing is making sure that they're intact they're not dry rotted they're not coming loose up top you know because a lot of times the slide out will actually start tearing away from the um trailer and you don't know that right right you know so uh it's always a good idea to keep an eye on the slide out um gaskets and we replace them and sell them as well you all know? right 
that's neat though and, and that's what he works on different things like this fixing this but a little bit of maintenance would have stopped this whole yes. trouble yes all right y'all we're gonna go in the store and we're gonna talk about some more products he's got wait till you check out some of these things inside all right y'all we made it inside into the showroom and we want to talk a little bit more. I remember last time we got together, we talked about roofs, but we want to talk a little bit more about roof maintenance. So let's right. let's tell the folks about that. Okay. Um, you know, this is another thing that I talk to my customers about a lot because, again, when when you buy these RVs uh, from a salesman, brand new or a used unit, a lot of people don't really know what goes into maintaining a rubber roof. Um, if a salesman tells you what actually is involved in it you're not going to buy the camper bar none i mean they, and they're not going to tell you that because they're scared you're going to go down the road and somebody else is going to tell you something different and right. whatever right um but here at the stop store i'm constantly telling people look you know um you need to be doing something with your roof if you don't bring it by here we do free roof inspections here you can drive in anytime you want and there's somebody here that can get on top of your roof and uh, look bring at that it camper over and inspect it and i'll tell you everything that needs to be done what it's going to cost you to do it um and i'll tell you you don't have to have it done here you know just get it done stay on top if you want to do it yourself if you're a do-it-yourself type person i will show you how to do it just like i'm fixing to right here you've got the products that's for right it. i got the products for it so if you'll buy it from me i'll tell you the best way to do it um but basically what we do i tell people all the time if you have a um a, a trailer that is actually sitting in the sun okay that's not under cover rubber roofs are good for about five years without anything ever being done to them that's brand new right so if you're sitting at home and you're thinking oh man my my trailer is four years old and i've never had anything i've washed it you know well it's probably due for a reseal you know because a lot of times people will go up there with the self-leveling um dicor and they'll hit a few spots and that's required every six months to be able to get up on your roof oh wow with a self-leveling dicor and any cracks that you see in your sealant around your vents and your seams and everything all it takes is a little bit just put it on the cracks uh-huh you know and this is good to do after you actually wash your trailer and it dries you know um so that's you know this is good to stay on top of keep a couple tubes of this around your house and we're talking about washing them <clears throat> you buy a trailer brand new it's got a rubber roof on it you know you want to use your roof cleaner because it's made just for just that for rubber, rubber roof. roof just for that rubber roof and after you wash it you want to put a roof guard on it because this right here is going to get you to that six seven year mark without actually having to recoat your rubber because this is protecting it from the sun. I see UV protected on it. Right, it says UV protected. So if you're using both these products and touching up your Dicor every six months, you shouldn't need this for at least six or seven years. You're on the right track Right, then. you're on the right track. So let's say that you get up there and you're like, man, I have never done any of this, you know? What do I do now? Well bring it by and i'll be able to tell you if your roof is a candidate for a reseal what stage your roof exactly in. because your roof actually you know it's it's a actually piece of black rubber up there okay well you know where they make this uh dicor rubber at they are they're putting this dicor coating on it which is protecting the black right because actually if the sun hits that it's going to blister it and it's going to right put holes in it so what we do is uh we get up there and if you've never done any of this then you're going to need a reseal we clean your roof good with the uh, roof cleaner mm -hmm. after it dries we basically we take this felt tape right here and um we tape your seams up your front and back seam ah uh, okay that's that's where most of your rot comes from is from the seam so we tape your seams up with this okay so after that happens We've got it in the shop. We put two coats of this Dicor sealant, which is this white stuff right okay. here. We put two coats of this around your vents, around this tape, around everything you know that's up there. Once that dries, we get up there again with a roller and we actually roll two coats of this on the rubber itself. All right, so it takes a day for that to dry. We come back the next day and we come up there with the same um, 
self-leveling die core and we'll go around all your vents and everything up there all down the side trim you're on your sealed trailer. up then you're completely protected again so then we have to still go back to that maintenance every six months you need to get up there and make sure that your die core is not cracking and keep it clean and keep it clean yes y'all that's roof 101 right there you bring your camper over here and this man knows it all how to get your roofs done now that's just a roof we're talking about we're fixing to talk about a few other items he's got in here rp custom trailers and service is a fully stocked store for rv parts and accessories with essentials such as tank treatments hoses lenses vents power cores cleaning supplies and everything else your camper may need known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years we now specialize in rv insurance work talk to ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. Fred's on the River, the Amy River in Prairieville. Started as a bait shop and has evolved into a legendary place for music and dancing. The new double boat launch has been complete with lots of parking for boats of all sizes. And the Food Mart offers convenient gas, food, and condiments for your day on the river. Happy hour 5 to 7, Tuesday through Friday. Karaoke every Friday night 8 to 12 with poo tables and video games. Band starts April 10th and run through the summer on Saturday and Sunday nights. Hope to see you at Fred's for a fun and exciting time. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats now has more to offer. The same high quality seafood, live and bald crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, bar balls, and local catfish, just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. All right, y'all, we made it to the end of the shop down here, and we're going to talk batteries. So let's tell people about the batteries in their RV. Okay, Rodney. Um, we started selling batteries this past year because every RV that comes in here has a bad battery in it, you know. And um, so I'm like, man, I'm tired of running up and down the road to Napa and everywhere to get batteries. Let's start selling them. So I, I brought in Interstate batteries. That's a good battery. Yeah, they're very good battery. Um, they're very, they're awesome um company that owns this battery on um, they're good people you know i built a really good relationship with them but uh what you know people always ask me ryan why is my batteries continue to go out i'm putting a battery every year every eight months or every time i go to try to go camping my battery's bad and i'm having to go change the battery out they're like well we're going to go to interstate i'm like well it really ain't the name brand of the battery it's what you're doing to the battery so a lot of your pull behind campers does not have a battery disconnect switch. Oh. So a lot of people like leaving their campers plugged up at home, you know. They leave them plugged up when they're camping, you know. So what's happening is your converter is constantly charging that battery and it oh. does not know that, hey, the battery's charged, quit charging it. It don't know that. So it's just continuing to charge and charge the battery and it boils the water out. Well, next thing you know, you got a dry cell. You know, so uh, what we do is when they come in here and they have, you know, a bad battery in it, I say, look, I can change your battery out um, and I can put you a disconnect switch on it. You know, it's fairly inexpensive to put a disconnect switch on or I'll show you how to do it yourself. But the main thing is when you're plugged up at home and you're running your refrigerator, you're trying to kind of keep your air conditioner going, that's all right, fine. Right. You know, that's good. But you've got your battery cut off. So All you're right. not constantly charging you're your battery. You're not constantly charging your battery. So you install those. We install these. That way, you know, a person, you know, they get ready to go camping. 
a day or day or so before they're going to go on a trip, go out there and turn your switch on. Charge Make sure in. your battery's charged. You know, you got good battery. And um, Rodney, another thing I want to talk about with the batteries that a lot of people don't realize, you know, we had these slide outs on these trailers, right? You know, and right. they're like, you know, well, my my battery was run down, so I just plugged my trailer up to slide my slide outs in. That's a big no no. Oh, you don't have enough amps in that converter that actually makes 12 volt to slide that slide out in and out. So what's that do? Tears your converter up. So you're constantly having to get another right. converter. So you have to make sure you have a charged battery to slide your slide outs in and out and make sure your switch is on if you already have one. So I see what you're saying. It don't have enough amps and it's grinding on your inverter. It, converter, yes. Converter to uh -huh. get it, to exactly. pull it out. Oh, That's right. Man. That's right, and and we we install a lot of converters, you know, uh, just because of that reason. Now there's other reasons that converters go out, you know. There's power surges right, right. and stuff like that. So, but we install a lot of converters because of that reason. Because they'll come in here, the converter will be bad. We'll check the battery. The battery's bad too. So we know exactly what happened. Wow, wow. This man knows it all about these RVs, y'all. And and if he don't, he can figure out on that's what the right. heck's going on, you know. And he's got some other supplies in here that we're going to talk about. But that's really neat knowing about the battery, and he sells these batteries. So y'all hang on. We're fixing to talk about some other neat stuff. And we got some food coming, too. All right, y'all. We made it out back, and I got the cooking guru here, Mr. John Ziegler. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. How are you today? You said you go by Z. Z, the Z man. They call Ben Z for 60 years. Now you live a long ways from here. Yeah, I live about 12 miles to the <laughs> to the east on 42. Now you've been barbecuing a long time. My wife and I have been barbecuing about 13, 14 years. Really grilling or something all of our life, but really took it serious the last 12, 13 yeah. years. Yeah. Now Ryan got you to come over to cook barbecue for the customer appreciation day, and yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been looked in this pit, y'all. I gotta let y'all take a look in here. Let's just tell them what we got in here. There's gonna be some great and happy customers out here today. We got some ribs going on. I just wrapped them for a little bit for a little tenderness. We got our brisket going on and we got we're gonna smoke that it's just about ready probably about noon uh -huh. it's barbecue so what we got here ready when it's ready oh, we yeah. got we got some of my wife's work here so we got tenderloins pork tenderloins it's been stuffed with crab and wrapped in bacon and she's got her chicken thighs boneless chicken thighs that's been filleted open and stuffed with uh, peppers onions and some provolone cheese and then we got some Slavichex jalapeno hot sausage out of Snook, Texas. It's going to be good around here. Man, my mouth's watering what oh, you just say in that. Now you got some beans and... Uh, we, got, we got Ma's kicked up baked beans and we got some uh, Bill's surprise cheesy potatoes. Surprise? Yeah, we're going to be surprised. Yeah. Everybody's going to eat them all. Cool, y'all. All right, we're yeah, getting all the good. food cooking. We're fixing to go talk with Ryan about some of the products and we're going to have some you really good really food. Great selection of RV parts and stuff. That yes, and that's what we're fixing to get in there and check some of that stuff out. That's if you right. have a camper, you're going to want to see this show. So y'all hang on. Misty Sweet Sensations is a wholesale food shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Lamar Dixon Expo Center, the crown jewel of Ascension Parish, supporting community development and charitable organizations. The center offers a wide variety of activities, such as outside show arenas, fully equipped barns, a newly renovated 4-H building, an Acadian-style chapel, RV parking with bathhouses, and large and small banquet rooms, just to name a few. Located in Gonzales and surrounded by hotels, restaurants, and great shopping venues. Come enjoy what Lamar Dixon Expo Center has to offer. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week. Cooking demos on Saturdays and customer service that will help you get the job done.
All right, y'all, we made it outside to talk about a little bit more maintenance. Uh, these screens that Ryan sells is to keep the, they call it mosquitoes to keep them out, but we call them dirt daubers. Right. And uh, as I was a kid, we called them air conditioner bugs because they would go where the air conditioner dripped and get their mud to go make their nest with. But uh, tell them a little bit about the maintenance on what, how to use these uh, okay. dirt dauber guards. Right, that's what we'll call them, dirt dauber guards. Um, you know, obviously they don't, you know, your furnaces does not come with anything to um, protect bugs and lizards and things to get in there that will actually cause harm to your furnace because what happens is when a dirt dauber goes in there, they go directly to the morphous where the gas comes out. And they're like, my furnace don't work. It worked last year, but it don't work this year. And I'm like, well, I kind of know what's wrong with it, you know? And that's about, average cost is right around $300. Wow. Because it's not much of a fix, but you got to get to the furnace, take it completely out, take it apart, clean it out, put it all back together, put it back in the trailer and uh, a $17 uh, screen right. would have kept that from happening. They're very, very easy to install. They come with the tool, the spring, everything they need oh, wow. to put in there. I don't even charge anything to put these on. If a guy come through here and said, hey, you know, if I buy these, will you put them on? A yeah. lot of ladies come through and they don't really want to install them and I go out there and put them on. Gotcha. They make them for every opening on your RV, your your water heaters, your refrigerators, and uh, I see this a different style here. Exactly, this style right here. If you take the, your um, refrigerator, because if anybody's ever changed a refrigerator out, dirt daubers are built everywhere in here, and they're the same thing. They go straight for the morphous, and they build a, a nest on the morphous, and it won't operate properly. It's not properly. something you can just hook air on, air on and blow the thing out. No, You've got to get in there and clean you it get out. In and break them off and everything. So these right here, you know. Ah, oh, it goes you got on the holes right there. Okay, so you blocking all the big holes exactly. with the screens. And these go in there, and you know, wow, no more dirt daubers in, around your refrigerator, causing any issues and slowing your camping trip and down. Yeah, you, you need know? that air conditioner. That's right. You need the air conditioner, refrigerator. They get around the air conditioner. We don't actually make any for the air conditioner, but uh, they make covers for your air conditioner. Okay. If you're storing your unit, they actually make a uh, cover that snugly fits around all your air conditioners. Wow, you know? that's some good tips, y'all. And maintenance is the key to having a good RV because when you unplug that thing and want to go camping, you don't want to have to work on it. You just want to be camping. That's right. Well, you know, a lot of people, they unplug them, store them, they forget about them. Six months later, they come back to them, you know. And uh, I'm sitting here constantly thinking about the things that's happening in these RVs when they're just setting up, you know. And we sell pretty much anything you want to maintain that uh, that RV while it's sitting in storage. And that's what's neat, y'all. Y'all can come by here, look in the showroom. He's got all kind of stuff that you really need in there. I mean, the, the sky's the limit on what he's got. And if you don't have it, he can get it for you. Most of the time next day. Awesome. All right, y'all, we're going to talk about a few more tips, but we got some barbecue coming up right around the corner. All right, y'all. All right, Ryan, let's talk about electrical. Okay, Rodney. Um, basically, anything you need, any kind of reducers for 30 amp, 50 amp RVs, we have everything here, and I've actually got a line that's very affordable. You know, um, there's a bunch of things out there that's very expensive. I try to keep the cost down on all of our electrical products because it's things that people pop in here and they just know that we're going to, you know, somebody's going to charge my arm and leg for a yeah. new cord. You know, I have the cheapest cords, you know, the least the, the least expensive cords that, that's out on the market right now. Um, but as far as the ends, a lot of people burn their 30 amp ends up, you know, right. they'll start getting charred I've and, seen. um, right. And that's, you know, when that happens, your air conditioner is short after that to go out because you're not getting the amps that you need then, you know, oh. so it's good to, uh, keep an eye on these, uh, inlets that plug into the wall, your camper outlets that you go to the campsites. Look at that. We sell the grease here that you can keep around there and that keeps that from happening but um they do wear out yes they wear out and when they start you know charring up around the ends right here your air conditioner is um going to suffer the results of that so uh okay. you know we we sell all this stuff and we keep it in stock so uh just want to let everybody know that all right ron tell me about some of the new stuff y'all brought in all right rodney uh had a lot of customers coming in hey man do you, do you have this bearing you know, or do you have a uh, brake hub or anything, you know, a brake drum or anything like that? I'm like, man, no, I don't. 
Well, now we do. All right. We have uh, anything from 8,000 pound axle all the way down to 3,500 pound axle. We have brake pads, brake assemblies, uh, grease seals, uh, bearings, um, axle U-bolts, uh, uh, shackles, springs, hubs. We have just about anything that you need to get you out of a bind if you're on the, you know, during the weekend or whatever, you're trying to fix something or during the week, you know, uh, grease caps, we, you know, we carry it all now. Awesome. Awesome. And some of this stuff is, uh, you can do it yourself or, right. yes. or you'll do it. That's right. You can um, do it yourself or you can schedule an appointment here with the shop and we can um, get it done for you. All right, y'all. Some of the neat stuff he's got in here. I mean, it's, just come in here and visualize on some of this stuff and come shop the store and see what's in here. But I guarantee you we're going to eat some barbecue soon. All right, y'all. Everything's ready. We're fixing to sit down and eat, y'all. They got the cheesy potatoes out. We've got the good old jacked up beans out. Them look good. I can't wait to get a hold of some of that. This is some of that awesome sausage he's brought in right here. These ribs are what I like to call succulent. Very good. The brisket, I had a taste of that. Amazing. And they made some good old bread, y'all. All right, y'all got some more folks sitting here eating. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Tabitha Lobel from Springfield. And Tab Lobel from Springfield. Who is also one of the new councilmen here in Livingston. Yes, sir. We got a whole new council in Livingston. And things are going well? Yes, sir. They really are. You know, got a few little uh, growing pains that we're going to uh, expect to hit with a lot of new folks. But uh, it, it's all going smooth. Well, how's that barbecue? It's very good. Is it good? Is it good? Man, it is wonderful. The, the beans, the, the potatoes, the ribs, everything is great. All right. Anytime, well, I'm a, anytime I see Z-Man uh, cooking, I know it's going to be good. Yeah, you can stop and eat. All right. Well, thank y'all for talking with me and go back to eating. All right, Ron, you couldn't have a better day to have all the folks that work with you and all the, your customers and stuff over for some good barbecue. That's right, Ron. We've been having a blast over here today. Good food, good family, good friends, good company, you know. Um, but the main thing right now, I just want to thank all my customers. You know, we've been serving the Livingston Parish area and the Ascension Parish area for 18 years now. Um, a lot of people don't really know everything that we do here, but um, we're a family-operated business, and um, we enjoy serving serving our community. You know, you do a fine job here. I want to tell you also that we we try. We really do. We honestly try, it, and I tell people we're honest as we possibly can. If I can't fix it, I'll tell them I can't fix it, you know. And, uh, or get them to somebody who can. That's right, and that's right. And, and like I said, we talked a lot about maintenance and just uh, I just want to bring awareness to everybody, you know, and uh, let them know what they're, you know, how to take care of these expensive investments that they have, you know. So... And, then we, and you can't ask for better people, y'all. This is good people. If you got campers, you got trailers, you come see Ryan, and he's going to take care of you. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Rodney. All right, y'all. We had a good time out here at Ryan's RP trailer sales. Y'all, the pit is empty. All the people are in there eating. You bring your trailers over here. If you got any trouble with your campers, any troubles at all, we're going to put the phone number on the screen. You can call them. It's been really good. We got some good food, some good cooking, some good people. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.